Pragya Thakur is a first-time candidate running for parliament in the central Indian city of Bhopal. Under the ruling Bharatiya Janta Party, or BJP banner, she, the party, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, have centered their campaigns on Hindu nationalism. But Thakur also has a past. Last year, a terrorism charge was laid against her as a suspect in the 2008 mosque bombing that killed six people. She's out on bail due to poor health. Visiting a Bhopal Hindu temple for a cleansing ceremony, she adamantly maintains her innocence in the case and points to the opposition. There are many from the opposition Congress party out on bail and also fighting the elections. These people want to break the country. I am 100% innocent. A Bhopal attorney explains it's legal for her to run as she's not yet convicted, but it brings into question the decision by the BJP to field a candidate facing a terrorism charge. But later, if it's proved that she's implicated by the court and gets a prison term, then she would never be able to run for elections and her term would end right there. It's not just the BJP that's pushing Hindu nationalism in Bhopal. Albeit a softer version, the Congress Party candidate has also been promoting Hindu ideology in this community with a 20% Muslim voter base. 35 years ago, one of the worst industrial accidents in history happened here in Bhopal. The Union Carbide gas leak, thousands were killed. And now more than a third of Bhopal's 2 million residents are still affected. Now some who work with victim support groups feel that the ruling party, due to its nationalist agenda, are ignoring them and other minorities. Even though Abdul Jabbar's health is failing, he still runs an organization that trains women impacted from the gas leak. Pragya Thakur is creating a toxic atmosphere in Bhopal with the hate speeches. Just like that in 1984, when the poisonous gas leaked in Bhopal, all the hate speeches are destroying the mixed social structure between Hindus and Muslims. It's creating tension, it's creating hate. So when the people of Bhopal cast their ballots, they are not only choosing their next leaders, they could also be deciding whether their community will become more divided. Scott Heidler, Al Jazeera, Bhopal, India.